Hey guys, I am about to uh, put together the barn door card here. I have some pop dots and I don't have any washers, but I have these uh, wood pile um, circles and it's just a bag of mixed little wooden discs. They're about as thick, I guess, as a penny, maybe a little less. But they have some small ones in there, so I'm going to try to use those. I don't know if they'll work, but they will work to show you how the card goes together. Um, I know in the Stampin' Up! videos that I saw um, about that set for the barn door, they used some tiny washers. So if, you, if these don't work, you can get those, but I think this will work. But they also make um, some slider things. But my... The sliders on this card are kind of wide, so I think these are going to work better than the washers because you need washers that are wider, and these are a quarter inch. And we can make them smaller. You can um, close them in and just cut new ones, um, slice it out. I used um, my Close to My Heart, the lines, I guess that's what it's called, uh, folder to emboss just like they had done. Uh, I don't know if that's the same folder they used or not, but it's close. And then I got some tiny embellishments that I'm going to use here just because I don't have the time to make those teeny tiny flowers and cut them. And I did print and cut on my card, uh, so you can change it. Like I said in um, the live when I showed you the file, you can change it up to be whatever you want. It's a dual um, sentiment. And then I cut my black pieces that are supposedly the hardware out of uh, black shimmer paper from Cricut. So I'm just going to push those over to the side. And you don't have to put this card on a folded base if you don't want to. I'm going to stamp a sentiment on the inside or either handwritten something. So you can do that as well. And I'm just going to put some glue on this panel and I chose to make my panel for my card the same color as the panel for the slider piece uh, just because I didn't want it to show through when it slides I didn't want it to show through there and I am going to need Probably my phone tape. I need to, maybe I've got, no, I'm going to have to slice some up. So I'm just going to put that on my mat so you guys can see how I do this too. If you don't have the foam strips from Stampin' Up, we can make our own. And I think I told you this on another video at, at some point. And I just use my ruler from Cricut. And I just place it on there and use my true control knife. And I got off there. Sorry. I'm trying to look over the edge of my ruler there. Not paying attention to what I'm doing. And just stay along the guide with the true control. That should be enough. I can always cut another one if I need it. But now I have some strips to go along with the ones I already had. Oops. And I just stick them back onto the backing of the foam squares backing or you can use a piece of vinyl backing anything that'll work I'll just leave those there I'll be using them. I'm just going to see if I can remember how this goes together and you'll notice on the file this is um, higher up on one side than on the other and that's for the hardware so it's supposed to be that way so don't worry, the wider area is the top of the card. Just 
just going to actually I better get my disc ready first. I'm going to take a disc and a pop dot. Put one of these out of here. And I'm going to place it in the center. And then I'm going to place the panel over it and then peel it off. If I can pick that disc up and just kind of center it the best you can. And it those are going to work perfectly. So that's what you want. You want two on the top and two on the bottom. I need to dig out some more. I only got four out. I need eight. So let's put another one down. I can center it better if I don't have that panel over it. There we go. Just make sure you put your panel over before you put your disc on. There's those two. I'm just going to go in and get a couple more of these tiny ones, and hopefully, I won't spill this whole bag while I'm trying to do it. And then you want two on the bottom. And these discs are, I don't know, maybe about a half inch. So you just want to, oops, and there goes my disc right into the floor. There we go. It didn't roll far. No. So now I have the disc on the card. Next, I want to get my foam strips and I'm going to put one down here on the bottom. And then I'm going to put one on the side of that as well, just for support. And I want that a little tight. It's got a curl in my card. Okay. It'll flatten out when I the others on there. And then going to do the same on this side of the slider. Probably going to put two on this one. And I am going to use some of my big foam squares just to support the center. I know with some shaker cards and sliders, if it's not supported, it tends to dip down. And I'm not even going to peel those. There's no need to even peel them, but these should be enough to hold it in place. 
I can get them to stick. There we go. Sticking more to me than the card. I haven't put any pressure on them yet. Yep, I pulled that one off. And that one. Okay. Oops. I want to make sure that that doesn't happen. We got to get it on the card before it separates, so I can get it on there. All right. Might have to put a bigger disc on there, but I think it'll be okay. And then I'm going to turn my card around rather than try to change this. Yep, I'm going to have to wiggle those back in. That happens to you, just work it. Don't let that stick down yet. Just get those back in there. And then you can work it around. Stand up so I can see it a little bit better. Trying not to push it down where I need to adjust that tape out. Fine tape, I should say. Probably should have put it on just a tiny bit straighter. Or maybe cut it a little thinner. What was that here? I'm just trying to loosen that up so I can push it in some with my true control knife. You can use your weeding tool. This was just handy. Okay. And they're sliding, so there we go. Okay, I'm going to slide. I don't want to lose my black pieces there. And my door pieces. I am going to actually Copic marker using a dark brown um, E39. And I'm just going to do the edges of my door just to make it pop a little bit more. And this piece also. Just run it along the edge. When I do the insides of a card, I like to do it from the back. That way, if my Copic slips at all like that, I didn't mark up the front. Because it happens. Yeah. And that just gives it a little extra pop. And then I'm just going to glue that to the front of that one. I am trying a different glue here. I just wanted to See, it's something I hadn't seen before. It's neutral pH. Thought I'd check it out and see. 
how it fares. I like the slide I get with it. It dries really fast. So I'm happy with that. And I wanted to beef this up and make it a little bit heavier since this was heavier cardstock. So I cut an extra panel. And I'm just going to adhere it to the back of that door. Okay, now I'm not sure I'm going to try I think I'm going to try glue on these. Worst case scenario, I have to glue it again with some glue dots. I'm just going to put my door on there and cover those two pieces. And I'm just going to let it sit for a second and dry. And meanwhile, I'm going to find my handle before I lose it. And I'm just going to Get a little dab of glue on those. I'm going to place it just there. And then I'm going to dab some glue on these two discs. Make sure they're pushed all the way to the end, and then bring your door over to cover them. We're just going to let that dry for a second, and then flip that around so I don't have to move it. And then this is the hardware track. Just going to make sure of its placement. And then you should have two of these. Just going to give a little dab of glue right there on the end, just on one end. The other end just kind of hangs freely. Dry. It's a pretty easy card. It goes together pretty good. I'm just going to bring that one down and hopefully get it right about even with the other. good. And so I want this bar to be right below the circle part of that. And I think, I actually think I'm going to use a tape runner on that. I didn't put this sentiment in there yet. I will. I just wanted to make sure I got all my small pieces on. You can put yours on first if you would like. Let's see, where did the markers go? There they are. Um, wanted to do that over a piece of paper so that I can peel it and not get all that excess everywhere. I'm just going to slide in here and it's kind of working out if I can get it to cooperate. I probably should have put this on before those little wheels. There we go. 
I think that's what I want it. I'm going to grab my tweezers for this one. Just going to move it down slightly so I can grab hold of it. Well, it doesn't want to turn loose. There. It's not really stuck, it just doesn't want to go. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to stick it down. Hopefully it's straight. And so my door slides back and forth and it looks like it's on the hardware. And now I'm just going to Put a little glue on my sentiment piece, and I did print and cut on this. And I'm just going to, yeah, you should put it on before the door, definitely. I just really just forgot it. And we're going to bring that in. Press it down. And my trusty little tool. Just gonna rub that down. And there you have it, guys. And all I did, they have a stamp that says, May your troubles be less and your blessings be more. And in that set, and then they also have one and happy and nothing but happiness comes come through your door. And all I did was just kind of I just picked a font and made it say the same thing, but it's not exact to theirs, it's close. But that is all there is to making that card. All I have left to do is stamp my sentiment in and it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial and make sure that you put this piece on before your door. Don't do like I did. Um, and if you have any problems with it, make sure that you contact me uh, on Facebook or Messenger and I'll be happy to assist. You guys have a wonderful day. Make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. Hey guys, don't forget to decorate your door. Um, I forgot about that and I just saw it sitting there. So I went ahead and I punched using this Martha Stewart punch. Uh, see if I can get you to in view here where you can see that without reflection. But it's just a Martha Stewart punch that I had. Um, and I punched that out of green. And then I used some of the Paper Studio uh, little miniature flowers and a little burlap bow and put that on the front of the door. You guys, please show me your creations. Don't forget, I'm going to say it one more time. Leave a thumbs up on the video and uh, make sure that you're subscribed. Y'all have a wonderful day. I'll see you on the next video.